Hey there everyone, all the techies and data enthusiasts out there. So guys, finally the wait is over. Here comes a very interesting series. So guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you all a Azure OpenAI course, which is free from Microsoft and you can easily learn and it is very useful for you all. Even I have completed that particular course and you will be getting the certification also. So the concepts and whatever they have explained in that using Azure OpenAI services, it's very interesting. So I'll just give a walkthrough about that in this particular video and whatever content is there in that particular uh, course of Azure OpenAI, right? Those content, uh, whatever it is there that I'll be explaining you all in the video form in my channel. So this is the video one of Azure OpenAI series and you will be getting continuously another seven more videos. So guys, now let's not waste our time. Let's dive into my computer screen and discuss more about this particular topic. Before that, if you are not subscribed to the channel, do subscribe the channel and on the bell notification for more greater content. So now let's dive into my computer screen. So guys, here you all can see here, this is the course called Develop Generative AI Solution with Azure OpenAI Service. So this is very interesting course. You can see here, I have already completed all the modules. So the first module will be getting started with Azure OpenAI. But before that, guys, see, read this important notice, okay? And it's very important, okay? So Azure OpenAI services, right, which you can see in this one, if you see this. So it is very limited. It is not accessible to everyone. So if you want to access Azure OpenAI, so just open this link, okay? And if you scroll a bit down, so for that, there is a registration form. You can see, just click on this registration form. And immediately you will be getting a request form here. So you have to make sure you fill this particular request form. So your first name, last name and the subscription ID one or two, which one it is. So you have to select the subscription ID and you have to copy the subscription ID and paste it here. You can see the screenshot here. You will understand based on that and a mail ID. So it should be something like it should not be a hotmail or Gmail or anything. So make sure that the mail ID should be of your companies like the company to which you are working on. Like for example, if you are watch, working on google.com, so it should be google.com mail ID. So like that, if there is any company official mail ID, which you have, you have to update that mail ID or else if it's a normal personal mail ID, it will be definitely rejected. Okay. So even I got the access based on the personal mail ID only and the company name and the address of the company city and other basic details like your phone number, the company's website, everything. So once you fill all this, you have the option here. You have to select whichever is applicable to you. If you want to use DALI or OpenAI Whisper model or GPT-4, which one you want to. So you have to submit uh, this form. Once this form is reviewed, they'll review it within three to four days and they'll approve your request. Once if you are get approved, you can access the Azure OpenAI. Okay. So I'll just close this form and you can see here what we'll be covering in this particular content. Okay. So first getting started with Azure OpenAI, this is already like it will be coming in the next video, building natural language solutions with Azure OpenAI and prompt engineering techniques. And after this, you will be learning about gen generating code with Azure OpenAI and generating images with Azure OpenAI DALI we'll be using. So how you can use Azure OpenAI, how you can use Azure OpenAI on your VS code also. So how you can copy that and use the codes. How can you make the connection? And then we'll be seeing the implementation of RAG approach. So this complete model is interesting and it will be very helpful for you all. So I have already completed all these things. So it was very interesting. Whatever I read was very interesting and even you will be getting the access to do the work out there. I mean, like you'll be getting the access to practically uh, do the lab exercises, which will be very interesting. So if you just click on your profile here, you can see here uh, whatever courses you have completed and the badges, everything will be available to you all. Okay. So from this, where is my Azure open AI? You can see here everything I have completed. It is showing to show you. So I want Azure Open AI from this. Actually. Today's date. Uh, okay, building Azure Open Azure Machine Learning. No. 
training there should be this model so i'll just click on this so these things are done so once you click on this yeah these things are done i should see this in my profile so i have this certification let me just open that achievements courses ha ah, develop generative ai solution with azure open ai so in this you have something called as take assessment so if you just click on that so here you can take the assessment but this is at present this is blocked okay currently uh it's in the maintenance so they have blocked it but after some time i guess they are going to enable it so if you just complete this you will get it's a 2 hours of assessment the assessment was very interesting you need to create a complete like a kind of web application based on rag only and you should create it whatever you have learned in the course right based on those skills only you will be creating the assessment uh, completing this particular assessment if you have to create a complete model so once you complete that you will get a certification credentials so now this applied skill badge this is available to me but this is not at certified okay so i have to take the assessment again but i am not able to take it even i am under like it is showing undergoing the maintenance so let's wait for it to complete okay then you can take it but i'll be explaining you all everything in detail it will be very interesting in this particular uh, upcoming series videos okay so make sure you all subscribe the channel and on the bell notification so guys that's all for today's video do like share and subscribe the channel meet you all in my next video thank you all